Hey everybody, so this is going to be a review on the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Now, I was at Sephora about a month ago and I picked up two different foundations that I heard great things about. I've already done a review on the first one, I'll leave it linked down below. And this was the second one, so it's a little sample size. They matched me at the color number 5, because it was the middle of the summer, I was really tan. Um, and so I went ahead and self-tanned last night so that it wouldn't be such a stark difference between my face and my body. So as you can see, it's a pretty good color match. So yes, I was going to tell you a little bit about the product and then I'll show you myself applying it. Alright, so the full size retails for $39 and it comes in 18 shades, which is actually quite a large shade selection in my opinion. It calls itself the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I'm reading here from their website. And just one um, quick thing it says about it is that it uses light diffusing spheres to blur imperfections for luminous demi matte finish that feels invisible but looks professionally retouched. Naked skin is oil free, which is great, paraben free, fragrance free, and loaded with nourishing ingredients. All right, and now on to myself applying it. All right, so when I open it up, this is what it looks like. I don't want to tip it too far, but it's quite liquidy in consistency. And I'm going to be applying it using my beauty blender because like most foundations, I typically use the beauty blender or my fingers. So I just want to try it out. I don't have any primer on first. So I want to see how it truly holds up throughout the day. I'm just going to take some, wow, it's very liquidy. Taking some on my finger. I'm going to start off by dotting it on my face. And then I will use the beauty blender to blend it in. Very, very liquidy. So it's blending out quite easily, but it's very sheer coverage at this point. I mean, I didn't put on a ton, but I'm not seeing, I'll zoom in once I'm done this layer, I'm not seeing a whole lot of coverage to be honest. Okay, so here's one really quick, super thin layer. Um, I didn't realize it would go on so thin, I guess, because it's so liquidy in consistency, but you can still see pretty much all my problem areas right through the foundation. The only thing it's really done is um, made my face match my body a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a lot more, more than I would typically use for a foundation, but I'm guessing maybe because this is so liquidy, it requires a little bit more product. Or maybe it's just one of those foundations that is very, you know, sheer to light coverage and not going to be a winner for me. I'm going to go ahead with the second layer a little bit more this time around. Alright, so the second layer blended in really, really easily. It just kind of molded in on top. I would almost compare this consistency to water. It's very liquidy and doesn't take any effort at all to blend it in. So that's really nice. The blendability is amazing and adding that heavier second layer definitely did add a lot of coverage. It made the color match between my face and my chest a heck of a lot better and especially for being self-tanned. When I come in, you can see it's, it's hit, a lot, uh, hit a lot of the um, pigmentation issues and freckles. I would say this is maybe getting close to medium coverage, but still more on the light end. Definitely not sheer anymore though. My forehead's looking a lot better. So as for the way it feels right now, I just finished the second coat. It's pretty much almost dry. And to be honest, it doesn't really feel like um, I'm wearing any product. Um, even though I put on two pretty, you know, thick layers of it, it's very lightweight. It just feels like maybe I put on a moisturizer, so that's awesome. It's very light in consistency. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and then tell you my final thought. Alright, now here I am with all my makeup on. Um, it was actually really easy to apply the makeup on top of this foundation. It dried immediately and like I said, it doesn't feel like I have anything. Um, I did put a little bit of setting powder on top because that's what I do with all foundations, but I feel like this is one I probably wouldn't need it with because it dried so matte on its own. It says it's supposed to be a demi-matte finish, but in my opinion, this is quite matte. I'll zoom in so that you can see it up close. And there it is there. Um, the shine you're seeing is just from my, my blush, but really I think it is quite 
matte. I'm curious how it's going to hold up throughout the day, whether or not it's going to get shiny like a lot of foundations do for me. I will leave a little comment down in the description bar if you open it up as to how it held up throughout the day. Did it oxidize? Did it get shiny? Um, did it start to wear off? I'll leave all that kind of information down below if you want to check it out. But at this point, I think it's a really nice foundation, especially for those who don't need a lot of coverage, who like light to medium foundations. It honestly feels like I'm wearing nothing on my skin and it dried immediately. Um, it was really, really easy to blend in and I personally think it looks quite natural. So I think this is a great foundation. Whether or not I would repurchase it, I'm not so sure. Just because, like I said when I was applying it, I typically like more of a medium to full coverage foundation. If I'm going to take the effort to use a foundation, I'd really like to cover up things that I want to cover up. But for people who aren't looking for that, I think you really, really like this foundation. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!